Hi, welcome to Vice School Academy. Myself Shekhar. In this video, I am going to explain why ammeters are connected in series and voltmeters are connected in shunt. I know these are simple question, but most of the students doesn't know the right answer. All of you know the answer, or your faculty must have said the answer, but that answer is not exactly correct. Let me tell you the answer what you know. I guess most of the students are knowing this answer. Ammeters will have less resistance, hence they are connected in series. Voltmeters will have more resistance, hence they are connected in shunt or parallel. This is what generally one would answer. But this is not the answer for the question what we have. These statements are correct. Ammeter will have less resistance. That statement is correct. Ammeters will have more resistance. That statement is correct. But that the reason for connecting series is not this. Okay. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the proper reason why ammeter should be connected in series and voltmeter should be connected in shunt. For that, you need to know the purpose of ammeter, the purpose of voltmeter. Obviously, purpose of ammeter is to measure current, right? Electric current, uh, purpose of voltmeter is to measure potential or voltage, okay? And what's the definition of current? What's the definition of current? You need to understand the definition of current. Current means charge passing through the conductor, okay? Charge passing through the conductor. Suppose you have a circuit. Let me take a simple circuit. Uh, a circuit like this. I'm taking the simplest possible circuit. Now, by definition of the current, by the definition of the current, to measure the current, what is the definition of current? Current, the amount of charge which is passing through the conductor, right? So, this is a conductor. So, at this point, at this point, how much current is passing through this conductor, I'll have to measure that, okay? So for that, I need to keep some measuring device over here. I need to sit some, I need to set some measuring device over here so that how much charge is passing from this point to this point, right? So what does it mean? It means I'm breaking this over here. I'm breaking the circuit over here. I'm putting some device. That's an ammeter. Okay, but if it is a voltage, if it is a uh, voltmeter, if I want to measure a voltage, what is the definition of a voltage? It's a potential, how much we have, how much work to be done uh, to bring a unit positive charge from one point to another point, okay, or to be more precise for the definition of voltage, to bring the unit positive charge from infinity, means zero potential to certain point, means when you are defining a voltage, you always specify two points. But when you are defining a current, it's passing through a certain point, right? So, by definition of voltage, you need to have two points. Suppose I want to measure voltage between these two points, suppose, right? I want to measure voltage between these two points. Then, you will not break, you should not break rather these two points. You should not alter these two points. You should keep them as it is and you connect some device across this so that you will know the difference between these two points. Or else, of course, difference between these two points doesn't make much sense. Suppose I want to find the difference between this point and this point. Voltage difference between this point and this point. Then you will not break these two points. You will just note these two points and be among these two points or between these two points, you'll connect the instrument to measure the voltage. That's what the voltmeter. Without breaking the circuit. Okay. Here for ammeter, you have to break the circuit because it's, it's measuring uh, the current passing through the conductor. Right. So you have to break the circuit. If you're using a regular ammeter, okay, if you're using a special ammeter, then you don't have to even break the circuits. Okay. There are different ammeter technologies. Anyways, that's a different matter altogether. So, if you say this, voltmeter is connected in shunt, means voltmeter connected between those two points. That's it, because I want to measure the voltage between those two points. I'm just connecting voltmeter between those two points. 
So it's just like connecting across that element. Okay. And when you are connecting ammeter, I want to measure amount of current which is passing through that conductor. I just placed it in between that conductor. I place that ammeter so that it will find how much will be the current which is flowing through it. Okay. Now, let's see why ammeters are having less resistance and why voltmeters are having more resistance. Let's have a look at that also. The moment I connect, suppose I'm just considering ammeter or let's keep it here, not a problem. When I place an ammeter, why I'm placing an ammeter? Ammeter is placed to measure how much is the current which is flowing in the circuit. So it's a measuring device. Because of that measuring device, if the circuit got disturbed, suppose somebody want to measure how I'm working, okay, how my heart, heartbeat is, how my heart is functioning, or how my hand is functioning. So for that measurement, if my hand is completely blocked, my hand behavior has changed, then you know, you cannot really measure how my hand is functioning. I mean to say, when you want to measure the current which is flowing into this, the instrument, because of that instrument, the behavior of the circuit should not disturb, right? Means, after putting this ammeter also, the current should not affect, current should not differ, current should be as it is. Which means, the ammeter what you are putting, it should not add to more opposition means it should not have more resistance. If it is having more resistance, if the ammeter is having more resistance, then this ammeter will also oppose certain amount of current that will disturb the circuit. Our measuring instrument should not disturb the circuit. It should just measure and come back, measure and inform us, okay, this is the value of current which is flowing. It should not disturb. Okay, it should not disturb much. I mean to say, okay. So then that's a, that then that that instrument will be the best instrument. Okay. So that's the reason why we design ammeters with less resistance because I am connecting. I want to connect in series. That is why it is designed with less resistance. So ammeters are connected in series. That's why they are having. That, that's why they're designed with less resistance. It's a reverse. The statement is reverse actually. Okay. Now coming to the voltmeter. Because of the voltmeter, again, the circuit behavior should not differ. Means earlier, uh, suppose here some uh, X ampere current is coming. The same X ampere current should go into this. Because when we don't have an voltmeter, same X ampere was going. Once you have the voltmeter, then also you should this should carry same x ampere. Means this current should be almost zero ampere. This current should be very less. It should not take any current. Means it should have high resistance. As I'm connecting voltmeter in parallel, as it should not affect our circuit. I design voltmeters with high resistance. Okay. So these statements, they're actually reverse, means voltmeters must be connected in parallel. That is why they are designed with high resistance. Now we got the complete picture of these voltmeter series, parallel, why all these are happening, why resistances are high and low, right? I think you must have enjoyed this. If you like it, share this video with your friends and hit the like button obviously and give your comments in the comment box. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy learning and enjoy the learning.